what up libra welcome to this new love reading for you for the month of november going into december all the way up into 2022 where you're just going to have everything brand spanking new libra okay just new friends new lovers new homes new everything you're just going to be in everything new okay now love what I have out here is the light series, okay? And I got the clarifiers as the Royal Dark Terror, okay? Okay, so my darling, it looks like this new lover is stepping on the scene for you. It's going to be somebody coming out of a dark night of the soul here, okay? This is the hermit right here. Finally, a light has come on into this person's mind or inside of their heart, their soul. And now they are seeking out things that are better. Now, what's important to know about this person, Libra, is that they are coming out of heartbreak, okay? They're coming out of heartbreak and being juggled, okay, and being treated like just a sex object, being treated like just a piece of meat, okay, the only thing the person wanted was their wand, their kitty, their booty, okay, the six of pentacles, and whenever they felt some type of way about it, this person who they were dealing with, who was given to them and given to somebody else, was holding them. Love, like they really cared about them, like they were hugging them and whatnot when they was up there juggling your person and somebody else, okay? Now, Libra, we're going to get all into the, the zodiac signs after I finish this. We're going to get into the new love and how the new love is going to be for you from Aries to uh, Pisces, okay? Now, getting into this person that we're dealing with right here, who uh, could be any of these signs that we're about to go through. This person is in the Three of Swords and the deck on Knight of Swords. It's like reoccurring, Libra. Now, love, this could be you attracting somebody who's always, like, you know, having you in some dark energy, who's always given to you and given to somebody else, too. And that's a reoccurring thing that this person is coming into your life, or this type of person keeps coming into your life and breaking your heart, Libra. But we're talking about your person here. We're talking about your person or the new person that's stepping on the scene because, love, they got the three of swords and the, the nine of chalices. It's like someone took great pleasure in hurting them, okay? Great pleasure. This person who hurt them right here is not a good person. They're not a good person. They did not have good intent. They had your person just crying all the time. And then they had the audacity to hold them while they cried, okay? While they were juggling them. They were being held by the person who was juggling them. Like, that's like some type of psychological, you know, some type of tear and rip out your soul. Seven of swords, that's that type of energy. That type of energy where somebody will be juggling you and juggling another person, but then want to be all like, uh, acting like they love you and care for you. Now, it's quite possible that a person can love two people and one of those people want that person all to themselves, okay? But it's like the seven of swords energy. This person felt like this part, their ex just came into their life and stole away their heart, their soul. There was some very dark energy. And here we got the ace of wands and the four of uh, chalices. It's like they was only utilized for the one, Libra. This person was only utilized for the wand. And it looks like the person, if they didn't get the wand, they were so mad at them. They had blood ripping or dripping down from their mouth. Like the things that they were saying to them was so vicious and so hurtful that it was like blood dripping down out of somebody's mouth. And they got this person down on their on their knees like this, Libra. Okay, so this person is like really hurt. The love spilled out. Or, you know, somebody was just not accepting their love. The only thing they wanted to do was love them. So, Libra, I don't know if you want to deal with this new lover because, ooh, baby. Like I said, they're coming out of dark night of the soul, but they really been through the, the ringer when it comes to love, Libra. Okay? They've been through the ringer when it comes to love. So, it's like, I don't know, baby. Let's go ahead and get you from... Um, Leo to Aries, okay, in a new love relationship. Okay, Libra. Now, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith, 
Love and I am the uh, Cosmic Divine Tarot. Libra. Okay, let's cut the deck here for you. And see what a new love relationship would be like between you and an Aries, okay? So what that new love relationship like between a Libra and an Aries? Okay, what would that new love relationship be like between a Libra and an Aries? Okay, we got that, we got this part here. Oh, my darling, I already see the tower. I already see the tower, but I see the tower with the magician and all of these cards too. This is the only one that turned over and not showed me its face, okay? So we're going to read these three cards, these four cards right here. Okay, now the Aries is going to be somebody who, first of all, steps on the scene and try to convince you. They're going to try to convince you to take off your clothes, but you're going to be indecisive. It's like this Aries could be somebody who hurt you, Libra, okay, who has some type of spell over your mind, making you think that they loved you, making you think that you were the only one, okay, but in all actuality, the Four of Pentacles, they were having sex with somebody else, okay, so I'm thinking that this right here is a past love, trying to step back on the scene. Now, here's the tower right here. Okay, and you were hope they were holding back, uh, giving their love to somebody else, their sex, their warm, their kitty, their booty to somebody else. Now this card turned over the King of Pentacles. Okay, so Libra, this person going to try to step back on the scene as the King of Pentacles, minor arcana of the Emperor, and they're going to be like somebody trying to you know persuade you to be with them because of the Pentacle. Or because they have the pentacle. But I don't feel that this is going to be something that you want to do. That's why the two of swords is here. They're going to have to convince the hell out of you, Libra. Okay, because it was a straight tower moment between you and this Aries. And it's like this Aries thing that they could just step back on the scene because they got some money. And you're supposed to go ahead and hand over the booty. Okay, hand over the kitty, baby. And like Libra, like, hey, baby. Oh, no, baby. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into that Taurus. Taurus and Libra relationship. What would that be like? The Taurus and Libra relationship. New relationship. What would that be like for them to come together in a love relationship? I see only two cards coming out. We ain't got no more. Okay, we got the third card. Got the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles turning over. Okay? Now, I turned that one back over, but I had to turn it back over. It seems to be the Seven of uh, Wands here, Libra. Hey, check this out. It's like somebody is going to fight you to lower your defenses. This Taurus is going to be fighting you to lower your defenses. Like, hey, if you want to fight with somebody, if you need to fence, if you want to slice and dice, then I'm that one. Because I know how to fight some daggone body to get their defenses lowered, okay? Listen, all I got to do is step on the scene, GQ'd, baby. All I got to do is step on the scene with the Ten of Pentacles and just be kissing on your hand and just bowing down to your glory, okay? And here we got the King of... um. The King of uh, Swords right here. And looking at my phallus, like, and how I'm going to utilize it in the wand and the kitty. I mean, the the, the booty and the, uh, the kitty, okay? Hmm. So, Taurus is going to be very strategic with you. Libra, they're going to be very strategic with you. How about that Libra and um, Gemini love relationship? Like, whoa, whoa. What would that be like between them? A Libra and Gemini relationship? Anymore? Okay. Love, uh, this is too many cards, but I'm going to take all of them. I'm going to take all of them because we're going to tell the whole story here, okay? Let's go. Ooh, Libra, I can see you. You so sexy as the Queen of Swords. Check you out. Okay, whenever this Gemini, now both of y'all uh, wield the sword. This could be the Gemini, too, trying to seduce you, trying to make you feel like they are the most sexiest, finest ever. Thing that you will ever find, okay? Look at my breast, look at my butt, look at my thighs. Look at me, I'm the queen of uh, of uh, swords here. And here is the death card here, thank you uh, very much, Gemini, okay? Yes, uh, this Gemini is going to want to be taking your clothes off, baby, okay? They're going to want to see the kitty. They're going to want to see the breast, they're going to want to see the booty, so that they can put their hands all over it. Uh, Libra, that's the reason. Here, see, they got the hand and the kitty all over the wall and rubbing up against the booty and everything. That's what they want to do, baby. Now, that's what they want to do, okay? Now, three of wands, putting forth a major effort because here we got the three of swords. 
So is this new love who is a Gemini, somebody who uh, you broke up with or they broke up with you and they're coming back? Uh, as a three of swords, maybe somebody was waiting on the other person to step back on the scene, but it just didn't happen. The emperor went off and seeked somebody else. So Libra, this may be you. You was in a relationship with somebody and the relationship ended. And now this person who, not somebody, this leak, this Gemini, you was in a relationship with this Gemini, a relationship ended. You were waiting for this person to come back or they were waiting for you to come back. But your judgment was to be the emperor and go ahead and have somebody else uh, show you how beautiful their body is and how beautiful of a relationship you can be in with this type of person. Okay? Yeah. Now here we got uh, the queen. That That's what it is. The queen of um chalices here. So Libra, you may be in a relationship or found a new relationship with the queen of chalices who could also be a king, a male with uh, feminine energy, okay? And this daggone Gemini is trying to come on back, baby, because they was waiting for you to go ahead and step back on the scene. But that just did not happen, uh, Libra, because you went ahead and found somebody else on this Gemini. Going to find out about that? Now, it could be vice versa, love. We're talking about new love since that... You got two lovers already, from Aries to um to uh, Gemini that want to come back, baby. Now how about that Cancer? New love for Libra. New love for Libra. Cancer. New love for Libra. <coughs> Hold up, I need some water, love. Yeah, Libra, that's a big old gallon of water I got back there. <laughs> I know you was like, dang, how heavy is that thing you picked up? <laughs> yeah, I got to be drinking my water, baby. I mean, every single time I get an Aquarius reading, and I always said aqua and water, aqua and water. So I'm like, okay, that means I need to keep drinking my water. Here is the water, water cups right here. Uh, two of cups with this cancer, okay? New love with the cancer. This person gonna step on the same Libra and want to, uh, you know, give you love. They feel that you deserve love, baby. Now, here we got the, the seven of uh, wands right here. It could be that they're going to fight somebody else over you, or you got to you gotta fight somebody else over them, okay? Now, Libra, here we got the ace of pentacles right here, love. Now, it could be somebody is very well off. Somebody, you know, they have their money, they have their pentacle, they have everything that they need, okay? But it's like, you know, uh, they got to fight or have their defenses up because maybe they have this money. So, Cancer may have this money. Here's the four of uh, wands here. This may be somebody who want to come back and go through some type of celebrations with you. Uh, Libra, you know what I'm saying, and eventually get to the kitty and the booty, okay? This is what this person wants. <clears throat> so, Cancer may have some money when they're stepping on the scene with you, Libra, and it's like they just want to wind and down you. Now, it could be a twin flame, too. It could be a twin flame, too, okay? So, the four of wands is a twin flame card, and the twin flames have been coming out during these uh, new love readings, so that's cool. How about the Leo on Libra? relationship how would that relationship work out or what exactly would that relationship be like with uh, a uh, libra and a Leo? and a leo okay we got three cards here all turned over okay this is the first one we have the eight of uh ones so the um the leo is going to be somebody who likes talking they're going to be somebody who likes talking you into things very passionate like this very passionate seduction because this person sitting here looking at their their uh, their phallus and wanting to utilize it on it so this person's going to be talking to you about getting all up in the booty baby but and that's what you're going to think it, it is only about but i see the ten of cups here love the ten of cups is telling me that this person is going to be someone who has a lot of love for you too okay this leo uh, Leo is going to be somebody who oh, also wants to give you all types of orgasms because they're going to want you on top riding them. And when you're on top, or when a woman is on top of a, uh, if, if, if a woman is on top riding, it's easier for her to achieve a climax like that. Okay, so Libra, the Leo is going to want you to be 
easily achieving climaxes, okay? Easily coming, all right? They want that to happen easily. So they just gonna want you on top riding, okay? Now we got 10 of cups, which means that multiple orgasms, baby. Okay, now don't think, um, I don't know if you're riding the one, can you like uh, fake an orgasm? Because when the orgasm happens, a certain, uh, you know, <laughs> like a certain motion happens on the inside, like kind of tightens up. So it's like, I don't know if you tighten up on the one, if you're going to like fake having an orgasm. Don't fake having orgasms, okay? Don't do that because they want to know. They want to know how the, the kitty works when it orgasms, okay? Anyway, the uh, the Leo going to know that. How about Virgo? What would a love relationship be like with a Virgo? New love relationship be like with a Virgo, okay? And that's it. Well, hey, Virgo... <laughs> Virgo just wants to come to you. This this person this person is going to be probably new to your city, your state, to your country. Okay, the world card here. But when they see you, they want to want to step on the scene and be all types of intimate with you, Libra. Uh, it looks like the the night of uh, chalices. They're going to start off wanting to be friends, but then want it to be intimate. This uh this Virgo is going to want to take it to intimacy quick. Okay, let's go ahead and switch the deck to the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Libra, I'm going to get you three shuffles, all right, my darling? Yeah. Like I said, this is for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith, love, and I am the cosmic divine tarot. Libra, cut the deck. How are we doing with a Libra? Libra on Libra relationship. Oh, come on. Y'all want to show for a Libra. Come on. This one wanted to come out. Yeah. Here we go, yeah, let's get it, let's get it for a Libra and Libra relationship. Mm, look at all that one to come out. <laughs> we ain't going to take all that, Libra, but I'm going to see if I can get you one more or two more cards, okay? Libra on Libra relationship. You know, this is very interesting. Okay, I got you two more cards, baby. Okay, these cards turned over, these was faced up. That turned over. Here we got these cards here, love. We have the, oh, that read reversals. Okay, so I see that there was a tower uh, between this Libra and maybe an Aquarius, okay? They may, have had, they may have had a falling out with each other where Aqua decided to pour the love onto somebody else or just pour the love back onto them. And Libra may have been very jealous of that, but now, you know, uh, just went ahead and accepted that, hey, Aqua wanted to be with somebody else. Now, it could have been somebody who took on the energy as the star here. Or Libra saw as some type of beautiful light. They had them out in the cold, but because of their in and out energy, doing stuff with them and with somebody else. Now, Libra, this could be that the, the five of pentacles is that you meet this person out and about. Okay, they may give you a ride somewhere, this other Libra. They may give you a ride somewhere, and it may be like, uh, you know, you two just hit it off, okay? You two start kissing. You two start rubbing on each other's bodies. You two start rubbing on each other's nipples. And, oh, my goodness, next thing you know, uh, it was too fast, Libra. Because somebody is still dealing with a heartbreak from something that happened in the past. Another Libra is still dealing with the heartbreak that happened from the past. This is the uh, the Seven of Swords right here. So, it's going to be too fast for y'all to just go ahead and start feeling on each other's bodies. But, it may happen anyway. Yeah, because here is the, the Two of Swords. That may that will happen afterwards. Somebody being indecisive on whether they wanted to be in a relationship or not. And then next thing you know, not accepting the love. Because it happened too fast, Libra. It just happened too fast. So, Libra on Libra relationship is going to come in hard. And somebody's going to be hurt because they were in another relationship prior to this one where they actually wanted to do bodily harm to the person who uh, they had cheating on them with. Okay? So let's go to, uh, no, that was deep. Let's go to Scorpio. Libra, let's go to Scorpio. Scorpio, new love. Okay, what would that be like for a Libra? Being with a Scorpio, new lover. 
Libra, there is a, a third party here. Okay. You see, the Four of Swords, the reason why this Scorpio is holding back when you two are together, when you two and you're trying to, you know, get this person to, you know, give you some oral sex because you just went ahead and made them climax to the ultimate. Uh, the reason why this person is holding back with the, um, the, uh, the Four of the King of Swords is because they got somebody else probably following them, love. This person's probably got a GPS tracker on them. They, they, uh... Got somebody else who got their claws into them. Here we have the uh, the two of um, wands here. And this person be waiting for them to come back, okay? They be waiting for them to come home. So it's like, and then when they come home, they like to be all footsie with each other. So this person is cheating. This um, Scorpio, right? We all Scorpio? So Scorpio is going to be cheating. Let's go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Libra... New love relationship. Oh, Sagi is a, is a freak, I see. Okay? <laughs> I say that because they're going for the booty, baby. Look, going straight for the booty. This is the uh, Six of Wands. Trying to be victorious. Going straight to what? Isn't that third base? <laughs> third base. They're going straight for the booty. Like, wait a minute, baby. I don't even know you. Oh, they're going to try to convince you of it. They're going to try to convince you to be all over the booty like that. Uh, Libra, and it's like, you ain't like, no, I don't even know you. What did I just met you? You think I'm supposed to let you be all over my booty? And oh my goodness, you're going to be in your mind about them not just wanting to be all over the booty, baby. But they're going to want to get your booty butt naked. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. get on top of you. Uh, and in the mind, in the back of your mind, you're going to be thinking that this person is a damn devil. <laughs> God, you're going to, you want to meet this person out and about. This, um, what we have? We have Sagittarius. Yeah, you're going to meet them out and about. Y'all going to be kissing. It's going to start off with a kiss. But then this person think that uh, they can go to second and third base just because uh, they kissed you. <laughs> hmm. And because you let them kiss you, Libra. But let's go to Capricorn. What would Capricorn and Libra relationship be like? This is a past relationship. I see somebody is very nostalgic. Or whenever you two have sex, the other person is going to be very nostalgic about it. Like, I can see all three of these cards turned over here. Okay, so I can see that um, with the four of chalices, this person was off busy doing something else to Capricorn. They weren't focused on you at first, okay? Right here, they were focused on something else. Uh, but when they started focusing on you or when they will focus on you, Libra, the Eight of Wands is here. This Eight of Wands is telling me that they're going to be feeding you all types of beautiful food, delicious food. They're going to be feeding, they're going to be talking to you very passionately. And you're going to have memories with this person. You're going to make some type of memories with this uh, this Capricorn. They're going to be somebody who uh, you fall in love with, Libra. You're going to fall in love with this Capricorn. Now, how about uh, the, the Aquarius? The Aquarius and Libra. A new relationship. What would that be like? You know, a new relationship with a with Aquarius and and a Libra. All right, they got the devil here. Look, oof, okay. Yeah, well, love. Other people have other people. Okay, they do have other people. I see. Okay, and it looks like this Aquarius may be trying to convince you to allow to 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 be with them and other people, okay? And that may be because Aqua has been through that type of situation where maybe they think that that is the way it's supposed to go with the devil energy because Aquarius has been very loyal, okay, to the person who they love, but, you know, that person went out and had somebody else on them and Aqua find out about it, okay? Aqua found out about it. Found out about the third person. Maybe the third party came up to the house Okay, and I was like, you know, telling Aqua who, uh, 
who they are. And, you know, introducing themselves like, listen, this is my person that's in your house that you plan footsie with all up, up, all up and down uh, your breasts and got, you know, giving them oral sex and them giving you oral sex. King of Pentacles and the uh, the Nine of Chalices. And after you found out about it, oh, you're not going to be happy, Aqua. You're going to try to run. But this day going, I said, you're not going to be happy, Aquarius. Ah, uh, Sagittarius, you're going to run, but this person going to chase you. Aqua is going to chase you down, okay? Aqua is going to chase you down because it's like they're going to realize that that was not the way to do it. Like, just because other people did it to them don't mean that they got to do it to somebody else. Have them with another person with all types of different options, okay? Now, here we got the nine of chalices. It's like, I don't know if you're going to be able or willing to listen to that, Libra, okay? Because this Aqua went ahead and just uh, thought that you were like every daggone body else. And you're not like everybody else. And you shouldn't be held accountable for those people of their past actions. Because everything is supposed to be new for you and for Aquarius in 2020 new. Okay, let's go into that Pisces. Pisces and Libra, new relationship. What would that be like with them two together? Oh, okay, love. I can see the, um, the, the Seven of Swords here. The Seven of Swords looks like this relationship is not going to be a very close one. Or it wasn't a very close one. Or this person is leaving a relationship where they felt that, you know, there's just nothing left for them there. All right? They're going to be very mentally conflicted because this devil is still going to be on their back. Like there's going to be some type of energetic connection to them. And this person was going to keep them in some type of eight of swords energy. And the only solace they're going to find is in your arms as the king of wands. Uh, Libra, you're going to be the king of wands. And this person is like going to find solace in your, your, your arms. And that's it. Only in your arms, Libra. They're not going to find solace in anybody else's arms, anybody else's company. Now, here we got the uh, psychic tarot, love, okay? Now, I don't mean a psychic tarot. <laughs> I mean the, the crystal spirits. I got all types of decks around me. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a mistake here and there, picking up the wrong deck sometimes. But here we got the lithium uh, quartz. He's like your ancestors, the deities that you're worshiping. Uh, you know, the universe wants you to get these type of crystals so that you can be protected, love, okay? Whenever it comes time for you to be in a relationship with somebody, you can have some type of protection. Here is the lithium quartz. Now, this looks like something that is very powerful, very powerful. It looks like it will be able to see uh, into somebody. If this is a light being, like look into them inside their heart and their soul to see if there's any light in there or, or it's just all darkness and you know what I'm saying because of things that happened to them in the past. And here's the Malachite. This is the this is the crystal that you get that, you know, I see it as, you know, just helps you with knowledge. Okay, so it's like Libra, just be quiet and let these people show you or tell you who they are. And when they tell you who they are, take them on face value. Do not try to be like, uh, well, you know, giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. Well, maybe you was like that with them and now you're like this with me. No, baby. No, whatever person shows you, you let them show you that and you believe that this is them. Okay? Don't accept anything less. From yourself. Don't make any excuses for anybody. Okay? People will show you exactly who they are. All you gotta do is just sit there and and and, and, and silence yourself. Libra, this has been your reading, my darling. If it resonated with you, then um hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages. And don't forget to comment, Libra. I love your comments, okay? I love reading from you. Uh, Libra, if you need a personal reading or if you want to donate to the channel, then the way to do all that will be in the description box below, love. Uh, and that's it. That's it, Libra. Peace, love you, and light. Hold up, my darling.